Hi guys, it's Miss T. I'm interning at CSU Pueblo and due to the coronavirus, I cannot do field work in classrooms anymore. So me and my peers are doing the next best thing, which is videos. Um, I'm gonna be teaching a math lesson today and I hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, so the lesson that I'm gonna be teaching you guys today is called Teaching Area and Perimeter. So you're gonna need a few materials before you start. You're gonna need a um, area and perimeter mat. So I did not have one since I am not in the classroom, so I found one online. And you also need color tiles. So this is what my color tiles look like. I made them myself. Um, so you're also gonna need a whiteboard and a marker. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go over perimeter. So we need to remember that the formula for perimeter is length plus width plus length plus width. So it's gonna look just like this. So now that we know the formula, we're gonna um, find our formula in our own shape. So the first shape that we're gonna go over is this one right here. And remember, in order to find um, the perimeter, it's length plus width plus length plus width. So our length of this rectangle is one, two, three, four. So we'll write that down, four. And now we need to find our width, one, two, so our width is two, so we're gonna add plus two. And as you can see, we're halfway done with our equation. We need to add these numbers up one more time each in order to be finished. So now we're gonna do plus four for our length again, and plus two for our width again. So after we add up all these numbers, our perimeter is 12. So our answer is actually 12 tiles. All right, now that we did perimeter one, so we're gonna do perimeter one more time to make sure you guys have the hang of it. So our next shape that we're gonna be working with is also a rectangle, which is this. And we're gonna find our um, length. <laughs> So it goes one, two, three, that's our length. And our width is one, two, three, that's our width. So our length and our width are both three. Okay, so remember for perimeter, we're doing length plus width plus length plus width. So our length of that shape was three and our width of that shape was three and then we'll add that one more time, plus three, plus three. So it's gonna look like this. So it's three plus three plus three plus three, which is also length plus width plus length plus width. So after we've done our equation, I'm gonna find our answer. And our answer is 12 tiles. Okay, so now that we got perimeter down, now we are gonna find areas. So we're gonna find areas for the same shapes, but we also need to remember that area is a different formula. So area is length times width. So it's gonna look like this. Okay, so now that we're gonna find our area, we need to look at our shapes again. So we're gonna look at our first one. So our length is one, two, three, four, and our width is one, two. So we're gonna do four times two, which equals length times width. And since we're doing four times two, we know our answer is eight. So the answer for this equation is eight tiles. All right, we're gonna do this one more time with our last shape to make sure we have the hang of it. 
So our last shape that we're focusing on is this one. And we need to remember to find our length and our width. So our length is one, two, three. And our width is one, two, three. So we know that we need to do three times three. So three times three is nine. And so our answer to this equation is nine tiles. Because three times three is also length times width. Okay, so now that I'm done teaching you guys this lesson, I want to um, ask a few math talk questions to make sure you guys got the hang of this. So a few questions I want to ask you guys are, what is perimeter? So we need to remember that the area or that the equation for perimeter is length plus width plus length plus width. And now um, for area, we need to remember that our equation is length times width. So um, also another question I wanted to ask you guys is how could we use area and perimeter in real life? Um, you could also use them in many ways, but I brought an example. So for perimeter, for example, if we were to find the perimeter of this picture frame, we'd be finding the measurements of the picture frame itself. If we we're gonna find area, we're gonna be finding um, what's inside the picture frame. So I hope that made sense to you guys. Um, so I am done with my lesson. I hope you guys are staying safe and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.